What's going on friends? <clears throat> it's TJ. This is THC and NFTs. Today we're back with another smoke break about Crypto Creams NFT and their so-called rug or, or complete wash of a project. Let's call it that. But before we get into that, let's check out this intro. Try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Look for change, Alright everybody, change. thank you all for checking out the intro And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel So you can stay up to date with news and projects as I drop them So, first let me start off with saying I'm not a financial advisor, none of this is financial advice um, I did promote this project earlier on. I was reached out to promote this project to give away whitelists and um, I made that very clear when I did that video. But that does not excuse the actions of this project and the actions of the people behind this project. So let's get into what happened. So Crypto Creamers NFT, they were planning to be the first ice cream based NFT that rewards its holders free ice cream and royalties from its brick and mortar franchise. Now that sounded awesome. And what was even better was everybody on the team, you know, they everyone doxed themselves. First, last names, they put the brick and mortar address up for everyone to see. They were completely transparent and it looked that way throughout the whole thing. So where things got a little fuzzy is, so there is this person named Samino and he is doxxed in the project and then there's Nico and Carmen and they're the owners of Milky Treats. So from what I've gathered and what I've heard from other, so I'm a part of another project who worked closely with this launch and they, were talking they were in talks with the founders they went to the founder that day they went to the they went to milky treats store that day and talked with them and from what i understand is so from what i'm getting is i'm not sure if milky treats reached out to samino or samino reached out to milky treats but either way they came up with an nft project that was going to be the the basis of this project was milky treats and they gave Semino full reigns. At least that is what they're claiming. They're claiming that they had no action or no, no knowledge of what was going on in this project. And even if that is the case, that does not give them the right to pull the plug mid-mint. Especially if that's the case. If they were being, you know, irresponsible business owners and not following through on their end they are just at fault as Semino is but what I see going on right now is is they or whatever happened they're trying to claim that they're not affiliated with the project now if we go to sorry now if we go to their Instagram you can clearly see their affiliation. And this post right here, you know, is real, it's, it's, it's super sus. We regret to inform you all that we have decided that we must pause slash postpone the minting due to some concerns that we have with our developers and Discord project managers. Right there, that sounds like, you know, they're well aware of the project. There has been a lack of communications between the parties that are involved in this project. Please do not mint any more items from Crypto Cream's Genesis collection on OpenSea platform. We are not affiliated with that collection and the account was created without our consent and knowledge. We are currently working to resolve this urgent matter. Now, how are you going to say that was created without your knowledge when you are there? From what I've heard was, because you guys did not get things written down in a contract, and Semino was getting more of the cut than you guys liked or agreed to verbally, you decided to pull the plug. That, my friends, is irresponsible businessing. You, you just... You, you can't do that. And then you have it right there on your Twitter. You know, we are not affiliated with this collection. The account was created without our consent. But you go to your Twitter, the first thing in your Discord. I mean, it's the first thing in your Twitter. We are our first NFT ice cream shop. 
You guys are affiliated. You, you are connected, you are tied, and you are just as responsible as Samino. Now, Samino is under a bunch of pressure because he has all this ETH, and he's a 19-year-old kid. And what I didn't know was, is, is if the owners weren't really in this project as much as they were claiming to be, then why would why would they wait till mint day? Why would they wait to 900 mints in, you know, to, to do anything about it? I, I don't understand how they think this is okay. And it, it's just crazy because you, whether a project is completely doxxed or not, you can still lose your money. A project can still be a wash. And this is a perfect example. Um, once the community found out, so let's go, let's check out this a little bit. So everything was going fine at 422, uh, Semino posted, creamy milkman has been hacked. And if we go and timestamp this post, this was posted at 427. And this was six hours ago, so 426. So both these posts came after some type of conversation between Nico and Semino. And when he, when Semino, so this is common practice when a founder or anyone on a mod or the team is hacked, you ban them so they can't mass spam your Discord. Well, what ended up happening was FUD set in really fast and everybody started to panic. Everybody said it was, everyone called it a rug. Everyone said, you know, they're, they're running off with our ETH. And it, it, it was insane. And then this announcement comes up. This is Semino. Misinformation is coming from the owners of Milky Treats. They decided to pull the plug on the project last minute. They will need to address the reasons for their actions today. This is a legit project. We will get this straightened out, and I'm doing everything I can at the moment. An AMA will be hosted soon. Needless to say, this was posted at 4, 42 p.m. No AMA ever came up. Uh, Semino went silent. And I, I would be really scared, you know? Um, both... Parties here are extremely at fault, but the founders are trying to make, are trying to pin, are trying to blame this 19 year old kid and make it seem like it's all his fault. And if I was him, I would be extremely scared, you know? So, uh, 620 was his last, on the phone trying to figure this out. And, and that's when he went silent, you know? That is around the same time, I believe that was the last time him and the founders even might have talked. But... I don't know what conversation they had, and I can only imagine everyone, you know, is pointing fingers and saying they're in the wrong, but I don't believe that this, that the Milky Treats team was unaware of this project and did not know about this contract and how it was going down. Yeah, they might not have been aware that uh, Semino was getting as much of the percentage as you guys verbally talked about, but if you are... Uh, if you're if, you, if you're real business owners and you're giving this person the right to run your NFT and you are going to be getting money from it and all you want is your money and what it sounded like to me was you're looking for a cash grab. I hope your business tanks. Sorry to say it. And Samino, so, you know, there will be ramifications for your actions as well. But this is not the type of people we need in Web three. Samino, so, you had a choice to. You had a couple choices, you know, and you still do. Your your time's not up and your actions are not limited. You can still make things right. And the founders, you need to come out and own your end. Where have Nico and Carmen been? The only message we've gotten is this. Are you fucking kidding me? This is all, like... And when you were in the Discord, you were fucking never active. You know, Semino did all the legwork. And I'm not backing Semino or having Semino's back on this. But to say, 
to tell me that this is all you give us? You know, th this is your whole. I, I get it. Carmen don't ha doesn't have a social media, but you know, how are you guys gonna be so lackluster and just so fucking nonchalant? It's trash. It's complete trash and complete lack of respect for your community and the people who supported you. And in full, you know, in full transparency, I minted three and I minted real early. And I didn't think anything, you know, I, w I was not wary of this project. I felt like I covered every base that I could for this project, you know. I felt like I did everything I could. And it just happened, you know, it was a wash. And there's talks about refunds. And if refunds do happen, not everyone's gonna get refunded. I don't see that happening. You know, there was already transactions uh, through secondary on OpenSea and still currently going on. And I recommend, you know, no one buying anything off the secondary, no one supporting this project um, until they figure out what the hell is going on. You know, it, it just goes to show you that it doesn't matter if a team's doxxed, if they put up their business location. All that matters is transparency. Are the founders of the project, you know, the only person I ever talked to was Samino. Samino, I actually had a voice chat with Samino. Samino seemed to put in a lot of legwork on this project. And I don't know what percentage they wanted to give him. And from what I, from what I heard, and this is, could all be hearsay, he was getting 65% is what he was taking. And that was what the founders did not agree upon when they found that out. And they decided to shut Mint down you know, fucking a thousand minutes through. So if I can leave you all with anything, it's, it's, you got to be careful in this space. This is the wild, wild west. There are no protocols and no procedures, you know, set up to help protect us. We are all here doing our own due diligence and doing our own research. So that way, if this does happen to ourselves, at least we can say, you know, we covered our bases and the chances of it being a rug and being a wash was, you know, was more slim than as if we were just to ape in on something else. So that, you know, that's all I can really say is make sure you do your own research. And even if everything looks amazing and looks great, you never know what's really going on behind the scenes. So please, my friends, stay safe. You know, I'm sorry that this wasn't a super feel good episode, but I need to sometimes speak up, you know, or not sometimes I, I, you know, preached on this project and I want to do a follow up on this. You know, this is me reaching out to the community, you know, that follows me, you know, and I own this, my bad. I didn't know. And I don't think anyone else could have saw this coming. And the only people I think that could have saw this coming is Nico and Carmen. And they didn't care because all they knew was that they were getting money back. And when they found out they weren't getting the money they wanted, then shit came a flying. So, sorry friends. If you minted, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I, I, I apologize that, you know, you were a part of a, a wash. But not all projects are like this. And not everyone in this space is malicious. So please, my friends, stay safe. And until next time... Peace out. Love y'all.